Okay, so we are constructing the head, and so far I have the head constructed out of four parts. I have the base um, walrus head layer. There it is. I'm going to go ahead and move that up above everything. On top of that, I have kind of this snout and the fur of a boar. On top of that, I co interior composited the, the eye of the walrus and moved it and changed it, and then I copied and flipped that into an into a fourth element where I'm kind of mapping <laughs> it looks kind of dopey which I like that eye onto the other side but realize I warped it I changed its scale I changed its rotation so it doesn't just look like a copy paste so now I get to have some fun merging these things together the easiest way to do that is with the eraser at a hundred percent opacity but it a soft hardness, right? So I can start, oops, need to be on the right layer though. I can start with this eye and slowly erasing away that hard edge so that that snout comes through and around. Very important that I'm on 100% opacity for my eraser because I don't want to leave any kind of ghosted imprint, right? Go right to the side of the bore. I'm going to get rid of all those hard edges. I haven't color corrected yet. Also going to soften this transition between the two eyes. Okay. Now this is kind of fun. Those two eye pieces are separate, but I want to merge them together. So I'm going to select with shift these top two layers. Then I'm going to go to layer merge layers, which is just command E for short. Now they're together on a layer which means I can color correct them together, I can erase from them together. It's all good. Now I'm going to color correct them because I want those eyes to really stand out. So the head is the focal point of the creature. The eyes, if they're visible, tend to be the focal point of the head. So I'm going to go right to levels. This is just with the eyes, and I'm going to brighten them up and maybe deepen the shadows a little bit. Maybe limit the highlights just a little bit so that they stand out more. Next, I'm going to go to color balance. I'm going to see if I can get those eyes to feel different than the rest of it. And if I can match the color with the bore a little bit better, then vice versa. In ideal, um, in the ideal creature design, your color is just 100% um, kind of natural color. So it's not like it's in blue light or yellow light or purple light because then we can put it into any environment and make it match that environment, like underwater. But here I just want kind of naturalistic color. I can also use the sponge tool to actually saturate the eye to make them more colorful. And all of that works. Okay, now, now that I've done that, <laughs> I can play with the snout a little bit. Come on, where are you? There you are. And maybe saturate that, make it a little pinker with the sponge tool so that it stands out because there's a lot of color in there. And then I want to see, okay, what comes through. Man, that looks creepy. 
and I can start erasing from the snout with that soft edged eraser. So I could have the tusks there, but I think I want the tusks somewhere else. And because the tusk and the snout are all kind of connected, I'm going to pretty aggressively cut out this snout. Even though it's furry, I'm using a soft edge 100% eraser, just like the refined cutting out that we did for our landscapes. I might even sharpen the hardness a little bit to closer to 50%. And because we're dealing with creatures, creatures are organic. Is not to be expected that they'll be perfectly symmetrical. So free yourself of that assumption. But their anatomy should make sense. I'm going to have little debris out there. That's okay. I'm just dealing with the edge right now. All right. So now I've got this. <laughs> got this head coming along. And I want to use the walrus texture back here. So I'm going to use dodge and burn to bring out the highlights a little bit and then to, to burn the shadows, the midtones. All these settings, remember, you want to only do the midtones and you want an exposure that's less than 30. And then I might want to use the sponge to actually saturate it a little bit. Then I can go back to my eye layer. Or back maybe to the walrus and then warp it a little. Get this shape right. And now I go back to that bore and I soft edge to race. First, at 100%, get rid of the whole hard edge. And then I can start taking it down in lower opacities. And blending it into the texture of the, the base head I'm using. So now a lower opacity, about 40%. Just hit that edge. Nice and soft. 100% soft at this point because I'm blending textures. All right, now I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm going to blend that in. Same way. Gentle touch. It's fun to combine these different skin textures together. So far, I'm only using mammals, so maybe that makes it a little bit easier. But just using that soft edged eraser. First at 100% at the edge, but then you can take the opacity down and really blend them together. And you'll like the result. All 
I hope. All right, so I've got a creature, and now I gotta work on the tusks. So I'm gonna take the easy way out. I like this tusk, I just need to make this one match. So I'm gonna go back to this, get a lot of overlap, as I've repeated many times. Duplicate it, Command J, transform it, I need to now make this tusk work on the other side. Or maybe use another one. I don't know. I don't know yet. I feel like it would come out kind of like at that angle. Yeah, let's just use these instead. So in finishing the head, which is my goal for this, this video. I take this whole construction here, duplicate it, move it into place, then transform it, warp it, mess with it. These can be my tusks informed by my sketch, but not a slave to the sketch. And okay, now I can move it up. I'm really just interested in the tusk and maybe that lower jaw. I mean, the snout's covering it up anyway. So I can do a rough cut around them. Duplicate that, delete what's underneath, bring it in, <laughs> there we go, it would be under like that, and now bring it underneath the snout. All right, so far so good. So now, let's do image adjustments on that, some levels, deepen the midtones a little bit, limit the highlights, and I'll keep the highlights high. Maybe darken the darks. And play with color balance. It's too yellow. I need to knock that back a little. Okay. And now I can continue to softly erase away the lower opacity to reveal the tusks. Then 100% opacity. Maybe I should have two tusks on each. Hmm. At least on the front side. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my lasso and just cut these out. Nice and sharp, because I can refine that later. When we do creature composites, we want everything to be in sharp focus, because we can always take focus away. The computer is not good at making up information and returning focus to us. Whoops. 